We've been in Belton now about eight years, and I'm serving the duplication department. Um, by God's grace, we've been faithful serving God in Belton, and uh, we've been also faithful with our tithes and our offerings. Uh, I have six children, and uh, it's not easy, you know. But um, before I got married to my wife, I told my wife that uh, God gives us 100% of everything we have, and only asks us of 10%. And I was very explicit, it was very clear to her that I would not compromise on our tasks and our offerings. And since then, by God's grace, we've been doing that. Even though sometimes it's difficult, you know, but uh, we, we obey God because God wants us to, to, to bring the first 10% to Him. Sometimes our rent is due, but we prioritize our tithes and our offerings. Sometimes food, even food in the house, but we prioritize our tithes and our offerings because there are principles in the Word of God, there are promises. promises. Just to add to what he was saying, besides being faithful to our tithes and our offering, in 2005, we were thinking about buying a house. So in 2006, we have some money set aside, about $10,000 and some more, to use towards the down payment of our house. But then that same year, Bishop came up and he announced about the 120 acre, acres of land. And he asked every family to contribute $7,000 towards that. So my husband said to me, sweetheart, I think we should just forget about our house for now and pay off the seven thousand dollars for project favor. So we did just that. And then that same month, the church were in back home. They called us that they were having a building project. So we also sent two thousand dollars back home to sow into the work of God's back home. And then in two thousand and seven, when Prophet Botin came. During the services, he asked us to sow 70 that I see. We saw that it was easy to sow. He said 55 that I see. We also saw that it was easy to sow. But then that Sunday at Tacoma, when he said that Paul should come up and give 1,000 dollars towards the same project favor, my husband and I will look at each other because we have only 1,000 dollars left in our saving account. So he, he said to me, he said, sweetheart, Let's close the saving account down and let's sow the one thousand dollars. So we did just that. And then that same year, two thousand and seven, he said, he, "I said to him, I said, sweetheart, I think faith with our works is dead. So we should go out now and start looking at houses." So we went out and we look at a few houses, and then we wrote a contract on one of the houses that we look at. But when we were signing the contract on the house, the agent looked at us and he said, are you guys sure you can make it with this mortgage payment? We knew within ourselves that we couldn't make it, but we said yes, yes. And then anyway, as God could have it, the contract did not go through. So in 2008, I didn't say anything. In 2009, I went back to my husband. I was like, sweetheart, we have six children. And in this two bedroom apartment, we really have to believe God now because I'm tired of living in this apartment. God has to do something for us. So we have to go out now and believe Him, you know, and take Him by His word. So He said, Okay, we're going to go out, but I want us to take at least one week and fast and pray and use the scripture that David used when he was asking God, Should I pursue my enemies? Let's ask God, Is this time for us to go out now and about this house business? So I was like, what? Just to buy a house, we have to fast and pray. But anyway, I joined him and we did a fasting and praying for a week. After that one week, it was like God just gave us the green light for the house. And we went out in July. We looked at some houses and we saw this particular one. It was not really a beautiful house, but it had that many rooms. Basement was finished, seven bedrooms. And we said, like, yes, I think we can live with this one because with six children, it's okay. So we wrote a contract on it. But then later the agent called us that it was a short sale. So we said, okay, we'll wait. So July, we waited. August, we waited. September, the first week of September, I was on the internet looking at houses. 
We have saw this particular house it was beautiful. They said new construction. So I emailed it to my agent that night. The next day he called us and he said, let's go look at the house. When we came, we saw the house. We were like, yes, this is it. The kids were excited. And that's very day that Tuesday we had a contract on the house. And that Friday the agent called us that the contract was accepted. And we got the house. But the good news is, not only did we get the house, but God gave us favor, and the house was paid off, cash down 300 and some more thousand dollars. Someone paid cash down on our behalf, and we are mortgage free. So we just want to give God the glory. It's not just about the house, but it's that God is able to do the impossible. As long as we do our part, He is faithful to commit to His word. Thank you.